Eh, quería preguntar antes que nada por a tu acción, ¿no? tu traje de, del equipo, qué tipo de jugador es, qué, qué puede aportar al equipo. Um, Albert es un midfielder. Um, actually, he can play on the most positions in midfield. He's like uh, He can dribble good with the ball. He's strong, but still, he's a he's a young kid. Uh, on the other side, um, we have to see till the end of the season how he is doing, how his development is, and to make a decision for the future. So, uh, in the end, we decided to sign someone. Uh, also, hopefully, he can help us also soon and fast uh, because of his talent. Um, but also for him, it's like a moment in his life that he has to show. That there is only more, that there is more than talent, and that he uh, needs to succeed as a player. Um, we give him the possibility to train with us, to play with us. So we have to see how that is going. Um, yeah, and then maybe in the end of the season, I can tell maybe a little bit more about him. Uh, the history, what I know from him, is that he was signed by FC Utrecht in the past as a young kid because of a big prospect. So. Uh, talent he has and then the other things what I, I already said so personally I didn't know him uh, I saw him play uh, one or two times but uh, I never worked with him uh, eh, se hacen cosas distintas a las que se han venido haciendo. Eh, esta semana, por ejemplo, ha ocurrido eso. No, we just do the same as always. We train, uh, in my perspective, we train very good, so that's not the problem. Um, uh, I don't think you uh, um, need to do different or crazy things when things are not going well in uh, in the games. Um, we just need to start to get a win again. Um, that's important. Uh, then we can talk maybe again about that we didn't play good, but we win. So uh, in the end of the day, it's also about winning. Um, but yeah, I, what I see in training, I'm very happy. Uh, that's already from the start that I'm here. I don't see a lot of uh, changes there. It's more that sometimes you have to change some things in the game because some things happen in training or with injuries or with other decisions what we have to make. So um, uh, that's a part of the job. And uh, yeah, so for now we didn't change a lot. We train the same as always. Um, and from my perspective, uh, they are all fine, uh, in a good mood. They train well, they are happy. So we are happy also. Y buenas, uh, dos preguntas sobre el, el nuevo fichaje. Uh, primero, ¿dónde, ves, ¿dónde lo ves mejor? Sé que por el pasado has dicho que a veces ves las posiciones de los jugadores diferentes de los que, los que se, se ponen en, en, en su ficha, entonces, ¿dónde, dónde, dónde lo le ves mejor? Y segunda pregunta, um, ¿se ha hecho el fichaje porque había la sensación a lo mejor de que había una cierta debilidad o fragilidad, fragilidad en el centro del campo? Como hemos tenido muchas lesiones con uh, y han tenido que, que jugar ahí uh, Oscar y Borja, por ejemplo. No sé si ha hecho este fichaje porque había a lo mejor la sensación de no tener uh, suficientes uh, presupuestos ahí. Gracias. No, yeah. First of all, we always wanted to sign a midfielder, but uh, we couldn't get the midfielder what we wanted to have, maybe. Uh, second, then the time is going by. So, Uh, maybe it was the time to sign someone. Uh, first, we were like patients and we would just wait till the right moment comes. Um, maybe we let him train for a week. We had a look uh, at him and we made that uh, decision. Um, what is his best position? Uh, it's always a question what is getting uh, against me, uh, especially here. Because if I say it's a good right eight and I play him on the six, then they say, yeah, you play him out of position. Um, he can play everywhere. Uh, he's, uh, he's a different type of player. We look uh, more in that sort of stuff. Uh, he can dribble with the ball. He can change, uh, he can change pace with the ball on his feet. Um, but 
what I already said before, uh, he's young. Uh, he comes from an environment where he had maybe not a lot of attention and love for two, three years. So uh, we need to try to get him back on track and he himself also to help us and hopefully we can help each other. Sí, hola, ¿qué tal? Yo tengo un par de preguntas también. Una, eh, sobre cómo está el grupo a nivel, a nivel mental. Es decir, son tres partidos sin, sin ganar. No sé si hay de alguna manera una presión extra para que pueda volver a llegar la victoria. Y luego la otra, eh, sobre el partido del domingo, el, otro, el anterior, el anterior, dijo que... No sé si un poco espera el mismo partido el domingo con un rival que también está ahí bajo, para querer ganar. Y si tocaría alguna pieza, en este caso a nivel táctico, también para, para afrontar el partido. Gracias. Tactically. Um... We always do things tactically sometimes different, what people maybe don't see or don't know, because every opponent has a different uh, game plan. So we also sometimes change some things, um, uh, or a lot, or we show that to the players. Um, the other side, uh, I already maybe said something about during the week, how our trainings are. Uh, the vibe is good, everybody is like in a good spirit. Um, there is no need to uh, to get sad or whatever because we are still above there. Um, we have 54 points. Uh, so I'm very proud of the team and everything. Uh, so for them, you know, I also said to them, just keep on hard working. Uh, this is normal, it happens with every club. Uh, so why not with us? There is never a team in the league who plays one year very good. So it's just normal. You have to uh, overwin it and you have to show character. Uh, so in that way, the mentality and the character at the moment in the team is good and strong. And we will see what happens this weekend. Um, you know, for me, uh, of course, I want to win. Everybody knows, but I'm there to help them. And if there is no win, if there is a lose again, I will help them again because I'm not going in that negative vibe, what maybe sometimes people do, you know, when things are going bad, suddenly everybody starts to talk about it, but when it's going good, then you don't see them. So for me, it's not a problem. Uh, we just go on. I like it, how they train, how they are, and uh, we try to win the game. Um, dos preguntas en una. La primera, um, si no me corrige, en principio para este partido bajas eh, Oscar Gil, Chirino, supongo que Granero, recuperamos al menos a Salva Ruiz, eh, pero lo debo decir porque parece que todo se centre mucho en la defensa, no sé si es un problema eh, de cara a este partido o no, la cantidad de bajas ausentes que pueda haber en la defensa, no sé si Lotan está para viajar y para jugar ya. Y por otro lado, eh, justamente el año pasado en el Suole eh, coincidió un poco también el peligro de bajón en este mes de febrero, no sé si eso le puede valer como experiencia positiva pensando en que se podría repetir algo similar en el Castellón, porque el mes de marzo fue francamente bueno en, en Holanda. No, no. Bueno. That's why I'm not worried. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the answer on that question. I'm never worried um, because I think we all work very hard. The staff is working hard. The people around the club is working hard. So, uh, and if something happens, I have to make decisions that we keep on working hard. Um, about the back three, yeah, we have two suspensions. So uh, we have uh, Dajiro out and we have Oscar out. Um, Salva, he trained today, so it looks good, but uh, we have to see. And Borja, to be fair, Salva trained a little bit more this week with the group than Borja. Borja finished today the training uh, quite okay, so we have to see how he reacts. So I think tomorrow he can train also with the team. Um, but we have to see what decisions we can make because. Uh, In the end of the day, um, uh, Salva probably can't play longer than 30 minutes, uh, so he will not start. Uh, and with Borja, maybe it's the same. So uh, that makes it uh, a little bit more difficult. On the other side, it makes it also good for the team that we also have them on the bench with us, if they, if they can travel because uh, of the two suspensions in the back. Sí, algo más sobre el Baleares, quizás, ¿qué, qué tipo de partido espera en ese campo? Eh, un equipo muy necesitado también. 
Yeah. 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 See, ball, yeah, yeah, yeah. Long, and and they also play a lot of times now with five in the back. Uh, so it's like a five four one or a five three two. Um, normally it would suit us perfect, uh, but in the end of the day, we also saw last week uh, we had some problems to make the chances. Um, I don't want to say unlucky, but. You know, if you see the handball back and the penalty and you see the slip with Gonzalo, um, maybe we had one good, good chance against us. Uh, the rest was like unlucky. So uh, it's a part of the game, uh, what happens sometimes and we have to uh, learn from that. Um, so that's why I also say I'm not worried because in the end of the day, we didn't give really, really a lot of chances back, of course, in the end, but that is because you really need to score a goal. So that's, I don't count that the last 20 minutes. I never count in a game when you need to score a goal because then that data is not real because it's, uh, it's different. Uh, yo, pues, uh, sí, bueno, te, una pregunta sobre la tendencia en general de la diferencia entre los equipos de arriba y los de abajo. Parece que, que ahora el último fin de... El primero y el segundo han perdido contra dos equipos en, uh, que están luchando para, para salvarse. Uh, un comentario sobre eso, si crees que la Liga está uh, volviendo a ser más, mucho más competitivo en la, en la segunda vuelta. Yeah, but you see that everywhere the circumstances are, uh, things are different. Uh, some teams are competing for the first six places, first five places. Uh, some teams are competing against relegation. Uh, some teams fire the coach, uh, some teams add different players. It's, it's a totally different uh, game always after the winter than before. Um, this I already know for a long time, so uh, I know a lot of strange things will happen and it will come. And that will not change in football. You, you can do everything what you want, but you always see after the winter, you see totally different things. Um, this is where you have to try to do your own thing, try to go on with things, what you are doing, especially when you do well. Um, that's why we don't want to change too much things because we think we are doing well. Um, the results are different than, uh, than what we see, of course, in, in training. But uh, yeah, that's a part of, the, of, of, of this game, what will happen during the season somewhere you have a bad spell or Maybe you have a bad start the first eight games or uh, from the season, but then it also changes in the in the after the winter. Um, yeah, I think it's a it, it's a part of football after the winter. Uh, the the pressure um, sometimes you are you have too many points already before, and you get later a little bit less points because that is realistic. Uh, That's, that sort of stuff will happen with a lot of teams and also the other way around. Maybe you don't have a lot of points and then after the winter you get more the, more points than what you had before because you deserve it. Um, in the end of the day, it's all about the last game where you are uh, and that's going to be interesting again this uh, season because uh, it's still uh, a long, long way.